Hello everyone. So today we are going to see another easy problem, maximum subarray. So we are given an input of an integer array and we have to return the maximum sum of any subarray from the given array nums. And let's understand this with an example. Here is a first example. So a subarray can be any number starting from any number ending to any number in a given array that sums up to some value and we have to return the maximum value that can be obtained from a subarray in this integer array nums. So for example, if you take this first three numbers, it sums up to minus two, minus five and minus four. But if you include, if you see the next number four, the number alone gives you the sum of four, which is greater than minus four. In this case, if you consider this one, it is giving the sum of two. So you have to add all possible subarrays and finally come up with the largest value gotten from the array. So consider this array. This array is having four minus one, two, and one as its subarray, which gives six as its total sum. So this is the maximum you could get from this array and that is our output. So how are we going to approach this problem? As usual, we are just going to hit brute force. Our brute force algorithm is going to work this way. So first it is going to consider only minus two. So far the sum is minus two and adding the next number minus two plus one will give you minus one. And again, adding one more number minus three will give you minus four. And then moving on to the next number will make it to zero. The same way you have to calculate from minus two till four for the first time. And at our second iteration, it starts from one. It adds one, three, one, three, four, and one, three, four minus one. The same way it goes till this number and iterate every possible number in the array by setting i to zero to n and an inner loop, j to zero to n and add all possible values and if we find a maximum that will be returned as the maximum value. So in this case our algorithm runs in big O of n cube or n square. You can come up this algorithm come up with this algorithm in both quadratic as well as cubic solution. But how to make it work in lesser time or in linear time? So what is happening in this algorithm when we calculate each and every possible subarrays in the given array? It is just duplicate work or unwanted repetition of work. So where we are doing unwanted work here, this if you consider if you are going to add the number four to its previous array, the sum from minus two to three is already calculated. So to include this four, you are again putting a for loop and calculating from minus two till four. So this is duplicate work. We are doing again and again and again. So the efficient way to do that is dynamic programming. So dynamic programming is nothing but as I always say, it is just building solution for sub problems and arriving at a universal optimal solution. So now we're going to have an integer array, which is going to help us get the sum for all possible subarrays given in the numbers integer array. So now thinking process is something quite tricky, but if you understand what is the sub problem and what it needs, what is to be stalled at every stage, it becomes quite straightforward and easy. So now let's start filling our array with minus two, because when you encounter a number, it is going to ask you, which is the maximum sum till now. So in our first number, this is all we got. So this is going to be our maximum sum. So we are filling it with minus two. So when you move to the second option, you get to choose one option. That is you either extend your sum from the previous sum or this number itself is higher than the sum given. So that is you every time going to ask, can I extend the maximum sum from by adding this number to the previous sum? Or the sum itself is a greater value than the previous sum and gives us more efficient solution and fill this array. 
So let's stay with me and continue filling the array. You're going to understand it. So now I'm going to fill my array, check my next number, whether I can extend the sum by adding it to previous sum. So now we filled our array with minus two. We are moving on to the next number one. And we are asking the question whether I can extend the sum by adding this number to previous sum or this number itself is a higher value. In this case, if you add it with minus two, it is going to give you minus one. But this one itself is a greater value. So we are sticking to the number itself and we are filling one here. So now we are moving to minus three. We are checking whether we can extend the sum or the number is higher. If you add minus three with plus one, it is going to give you minus two, but the value is minus three, which is lesser than minus two. So we are going to fill our array with minus two. Moving on to four, we are again checking whether we can extend the value by adding four or four itself is higher. So if you add minus two plus four, it is going to be two, but four itself is a higher value. So we are going to fill four here. So now moving on to minus one, whether you can extend it or fill the same number. Minus one is much lesser than three. So we are going to fill three here. So now we are moving on to two. Adding two plus three is gonna give higher value than two itself. So we are filling five here. So now moving on to one, adding five plus one is gonna give you six. One is lesser, so I'm gonna fill six here. So now moving on to minus five, I'm going to check adding minus five with six is higher value or minus five itself is a higher value. Adding minus five with six is going to give us one, which is higher than minus five. Finally, moving on to this four, if you add one plus four, it is going to give us five and which is definitely higher than four. So I'm filling five here. So, so far the maximum sum encountered here in this array is six. So that is actually the greatest sum out of all subarrays in given integer array nums. So six is going to be our output. We're going to return the maximum value present in our DP array. So this algorithm actually works in big O of n linear time. That is, we just want to iterate our traverse our array only once. So this is pretty simple algorithm. Let's see how are we going to code it. So here is my big O of n linear time solution. That is, I'm going to assign my sum is equal to the first integer and output also or max till now so far is going to be sums of zero. So I'm going to iterate my numbers from one to length of the integer array given. And every time I'm going to calculate whether the number is bigger or so far the sum plus the number is bigger. And I'm going to assign that to sum. And every time it is going to calculate the output, which is math dot max of output and sum. And finally, our output will be returned. We can either put this into an integer array and store all, all values or we just going to keep track of that particular sum so far. So it is very simple algorithm. You can find this algorithm in my description. So let's run now. So yes, this runs in 0ms faster than 100% of all solutions. Thanks for watching. Thank you.